Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Now that we've looked at the village here, and know where we're supposed to go, let's start moving on in that direction, and do a few of things along the way. I think we got everything that we needed from here, since we now have two empty bottles. Uh, we also- oh, actually, I forgot one thing. You know, that's- that's so funny. I forgot- I forgot the thing that I was sure I would not forget, but anyway. If we go back up to the top of the town, also just going to quickly, we have bombs, the net, and two bottles. That's the, the stuff. That's that's the stuff. Uh, anyway, we need to have bombs ready. But let's go into this building here. This is in a very interesting place. Yo, Link. This house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was their leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind, and he hated bright light a lot. Which is why he had these windows here. To have the light shining in at full blast, somehow. Uh, but anyway, let's go downstairs here. Because there's a wall that we can blow up here. And also all of these chests here that we probably want to open up. So let me figure out the way I want to do this. Carefully. Um, probably just like that. 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 And that. And that, yeah, there we go. So we got a red rupee, a red rupee, a red rupee, and of course, a red rupee. So if you didn't have enough rupees to get the, um, the empty bottle, which why would you when there's also more blue rupees in here as well? There's just so many rupees. The, you, you probably just have enough rupees. Anyway, that's our third piece of heart. And that should be everything in the village now. I don't know how I almost forgot that one, because that one's a very easy one to remember. It's probably just because I wanted to go get bombs first and then I went to the bottom of town and forgot to go back to the top. But anyway, that should be everything. So let's actually continue now. There's also a few more houses and people that I think will probably call the guards on you, so you need to be careful. Not that there's anything terribly important to do here. There's also that building up there which will be important later on. But not quite yet. But this building over here is important. Yeah, Link. I'm I now I'm quarreling with my younger brother. I seal the door to his room. That seems a bit harsh. <laughs> Why would you seal the door to your brother's room just because you're quarreling with him? What is this world we live in? Anyway, we can blow it up though. Hey Link, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? Why is why is he angry? What is, what's the what's he angry about? Must be very angry. Ah, uh, but anyway, it's time to go into a little mini game here. If you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we will give you something good. Ready, set, go. Also, there's a little bit of a trick here because I believe somewhere around here there's a sign blocking a path. But if we just press down, we actually just skip to the end. This try, your time was. Fifth, uh, eight seconds. You qualified. Congratulations. I present you with a piece of heart. Which gives us, of course, since we got four, a heart container. So you can see that little bit there has those little dots above the, the fence. That means you can jump over it. Or from it, because it's a little bit of an upper area. That's a very easy thing to miss. Otherwise, you can go round. It will give you barely enough time to get through. But... Just knowing that is incredible, just as a shortcut. Otherwise, you go the way that I just came in reverse. Uh, but yeah, this this I just love that. If you have enough time to read the sign, you should go to the goal immediately. That's that's a very obvious hint, but also, like if you didn't know, you could jump down. Is a bit of a troll. Anyway, that's all that there. Nothing else to worry about. We can just jump down off here, and that's. So that's pretty good. Don't think there's anything else we can possibly do, except for going to this house over here, which we don't need to do. But that's never stopped me before. Pay me twenty rupees, and I'll let you open one chest. You can keep what's inside. Okay. All right. Open the chest you would like. Okay. One chest could have a, a single rupee in it. One chest is going to have twenty rupees in it, and one could have, I believe, a hundred rupees in it. But I'm gambling all of my money away now, so let's open the one which has the same amount of rupees as I paid to play in. 
I'm either gonna end on a win or a loss. Come on, let's go. Open a chest. Right again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just nothing is happening. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I believe. I'm gonna go right this left to- Ah, my goodness. I got 20 rupees again. Why am I gambling? I don't know. I mean, it's worked out so far for me. Okay, surely the middle chest now. Nope, never mind. I got a rupee. I lost my rupees. Well, I'm not gonna stop there, I'm gonna try again. I want the full reward. Also, I should go with right again, because that's... Oh no. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't gamble. Maybe I just should... Nah, I can do it one more time. Okay. Surely, left again. 50 rupees, okay. I got 10 rupees, I believe. Possibly, from that. Maybe? I can't... I can't... It's fine. So that's that minigame. It's not really that important, but it's something you can do if you really want to. Ah, uh, but anyway, there's nothing else here right now, but there's, like, there's, there's, ah, stop it. There's an area up here that we can go to, but I don't think we can do anything up here right now. But there is a boy playing his flute here. Who just disappears. Cool. Anyway. Just need to keep that in mind for later. This world has so much in it for a what it is. You could very easily just not think about it. Also, this guy has a bow and he'll shoot arrows at you, so you need to be careful with that. Uh, but there's just... This game has... It's something special. And I don't know what it is about it that I just like. I don't know. But anyway. Let's head over this way. We can also go back into Link's house anytime we need to. Because... In here, there are always respawning pots which have hearts in them. Which can be helpful if you need to fill up your hearts again. Ah, uh, there's also these rocks here that we can't do anything with. Because they're too heavy. Now, where do I want to go? I think I actually want to go... I don't know if I want to go to the place that I'm supposed to go right away. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I could... I have not played this game in too long, apparently. Okay. This way to Lake Hylia, and also shop. That way. Oh... Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Okay, we're good. Uh, also, I believe, if we don't go this way, just right away and take a second, we can go into this cave here. And this is a fairy fountain. I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. If we go in here, we'll get healed to full health, but we're already at full health. But it's good to know that there are great fairies around that will just heal us, so... Uh, anyway. Let's take out this Octorok who spits out rocks around the place. And not popcorn. Uh, and let's go... Up this way, into this building here, which is where we were supposed to go. I am indeed Sahasrala, the village elder and a descendant of the seven wise men. Oh really, Link, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really wish to find it? Yes, I do. Good. As a test, can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now, go forward to the palace. Well, I actually think I, I should probably do something else before doing that, I think. Possibly. Uh, also, if we blow up the wall back here, we can get some bombs. Some 50 rupees, which is filling up our wallet very quickly. And another 50 rupees. We got 100 rupees from that. Just all the rupees just being thrown around right now. Okay. Also, these guys, uh, Amos, that come to life. 
they're like statues that come to life, obviously, uh, and attack us, but we can still take them out, and they can't go up the stairs, which is good for us. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if I need to do this now, but I think I'll do it anyway, just to make sure I can do it. I don't, I don't think I need to do it. Uh, nah, I, I'll, I'm pretty sure I don't need to do it, but I'm going to regret it if I do need it. Uh, but anyway, let's get around this place. I can't remember where I'm actually supposed to go here. I think I'm going the wrong way. But that's fine. I, I'm sure there's several ways to do this. Oh, that's blocked off with the rock there. I think I'm thinking about the other one. I think I'm thinking about Link Between Worlds. That's okay. Uh, let's go the correct way now. Let's go this way. Take you out, please. Ow. I should probably actually equip my boomerang again, because that's going to be a little bit helpful. Okay, this way. That's where I was trying to jump off, but I got my areas mixed up. Which is fine. I don't think there's any anything else to find here, other than just going the way we're supposed to go. So we go up here. Just going to skip past those armors because they don't notice us. And let's go to the dungeon. The Eastern Palace. So, we have some paths that we can take here. Only one, one of them is blocked, which is the way we need, need to go. Over that way. That door closes every time we re-enter the main room. Uh, we don't want to fall into the pit either, because that's just going to damage us. And of course, underneath this pot here is a switch that we can press to open the door. Same with that button switch there and the ground, which is mostly invisible because it blends in with the ground. But it allows us to open up this door here to keep going. What's I love? I don't know why I love this game, but I love this game. Must be crazy. Also, occasionally one of these uh, bowls that we need to dodge will be big, so we need to be careful. Oh, but most of the time we can just switch left and right to dodge the ones that are around. Uh, but anyway, let's go over this way. Because over this way is a treasure chest and also some pots. But mainly 100 rupees. Wow. This game throws a lot more rupees at you than I remembered. We almost have 400 rupees. What is this? Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's keep moving on. We're fairly limited to where we can go right now. But let's go over to the right, starting off. We have some enemies here. Ah, uh, these... Uh, Stalfos, I believe, will jump away from us whenever we try to attack them, so we have to push them up against the wall and time our attacks to actually hit them. Uh, but anyway, this also... I should have done the other thing. I should have done the other thing. Why didn't I do the other thing? Anyway, that pot there has a thing underneath it. There's the dungeon map. So let's check that now. We can see that this dungeon is actually fairly big, but also not incredibly big. But still. Uh, but anyway, that gives us the dungeon map. We have to go all that way to get that. It's a little bit off the beaten track as well, so it's very easy to miss that. But now, let's go to the left side, which is actually going to progress us forward. Just going to get rid of all of you, maybe. I think we can also possibly... No, we can't stun them. I think that just does damage, possibly. If it doesn't stun. Okay. Pick this up. Spawns in some Star Force that we need to take out before we can continue. Also, if you're above them, they can't really dodge by jumping because you're above them. Because they're jumping into your sword because of the way that the sprites work. Uh, but anyway. Also, I like that they have the bones in the ground there to kind of show you that there's gonna spawn in there. But now we found the compass. Now you can pinpoint the layer of the du uh, dungeon's evil master. So now, if we look at the map, we can see a skull is uh, next to one of the floors to show which floor the enemy's on, also, or the bosses. Uh, but it's also on uh, in, in a room to show where the boss is as well. Also, I don't think I mentioned, but you can also see where Link is on the map by the flashing red and white icon in the rooms. Uh, but also by Link next to the floor that he's on. Anyway, 
Let's close that again. And keep going. And if we touch this panel over here... Link! It is I, Sahasrala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Okay. Good to know. Speaking of armored foes, here's one right now. And this one is quite strong, so let's be careful. We can only hit this enemy when its eyes open. So we need to be careful of that. Oh my goodness, it is fighting though. Come on, take you out. Didn't even drop anything, but anyway. If we go up here, we can see that this door is locked and there's a big chest down there which we can't open. Ah, uh, but there's also these things that I pointed out in the castle that we can actually jump into. And there are some fairies down here. Which is good for us because we have two empty bottles and a bug catching net. If we swing our bug catching net around, we can catch a fairy and put it in a bottle. Which means that if we need to, we can use the fairy in a bottle to restore our health. It doesn't happen automatically, so we do need to... Actually, no, it does happen automatically if we die. Why do I remember not being a... Am I crazy? I'm just crazy. It's fine. Also, these panels here will teleport us back to the main room. We can see the grayed out versions of them up here. To show that as well. Uh, but anyway. We've almost made it... Through a few more rooms here. Uh, also need to be careful of those. Those are anti-fairies, which are very special because uh, of reasons that I can't explain at the moment. But you need to be careful of them because they will drain your magic when you're getting hit by them. But they'll also hit you with hurting you, so they drain everything from you. Uh, but anyway. Screw all this. We got a key from one of the pots here. Uh, but now, let's hit this switch down here again to make sure the doors are open. And let's go ahead and unlock that door. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing very good. We just have a few more rooms left, actually. So let's go through here. Let's take out the enemies here. If we can manage that. Also, this enemy here. Let's take you out with a pot, because pots are incredibly powerful for some reason. Come on. But yeah, we can use the fairies in the bottles whenever we need to. Or just when we die, possibly, probably. Come on. Come on. Come on, Starfox, I need you. Please. Please. Please? Please. There we go. And once we kill all the enemies, these anti-fairies are released. Allowing us to pick up this pot and actually activate the switch here to get this chip treasure chest, which has the big key in it. Now we can open the special uh, locked doors and also, like this one here, and also the big chest, which has a... which usually has the dungeon item in it, so... It's going to be like this for the rest of the game now, so. And now, if we go over here and open this up. You found the bow. You can shoot arrows until you run out. So this is why we have arrows, and we can actually use the arrows now. There's also these staff posts that throw their heads at us, which we can't actually take out. So we just need to push them back if, if we can until they leave. Uh, but anyway, let's equip the bow now. The bow is a good weapon for us. It's very strong. It'll allow us to take out some of these enemies a little bit better than we could before. Uh, let me lamp this so we can actually see what's in here. Oh, that's not good. I was trying to just wake up one and not both. Uh, but anyway, let's take you out, take you out, take you out. There's a lot of these wiggly things just trying to get in the way. But there we go. Now, I believe... Am I crazy? I, I, I don't know. We got a key from somewhere. I don't remember where exactly. I think it was just probably, probably from one of the enemies. Uh, if we jump down here though, there are some anti-fairies, which is important to note, but also doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but there's also a bunch of rupees we can collect there, so let's just take all that and leave. Okay. Let's go through here. Going up to the next floor. More anti-fairies. Need to be careful. Ow. I, what did I just say? Press the button. Continue. Okay, now we have these guys. I can't remember the best strategy for taking them out. I think you'd want to be from the top down. Nope. I've made a mistake. It's fine. 
Just need to make sure I be careful and take them out. There's also some fake switches on the ground. Only one of them is real. Which is the bottom one, I believe. Yep. So now we can go through here. And now we need to hit one of these switches quickly before we get hit by all these... ...boulder things. Okay, and now there's a red one of those statues thing... ...statues that comes to life there. Which can only be taken out using the bow, so we can't use our sword on it. It's also probably got more health, probably. Maybe? I don't know. Let me just take you out. Yeah, it does have a little bit more health. But that's probably because we can only take it out using the bow. We can also see on the ground here is a marking showing that we're very close to the boss. So let's go up here and let's take out all these things if I can. Please, please, thank you. Get some more extra items before we go to the boss. Okay, we need to take out those enemies though. We can only hold up to 30 arrows. We need to probably not go overboard with trying to collect those. Oh my goodness. How did I do that? I don't know. Also, you have to line up your shots just right. Otherwise, you'll miss because some of their sprite doesn't count. But there we go. Let's go into the boss. These are giant armoses, which will dance around. If we stand on top of the room and use our arrows, we can actually do a lot of damage to them quite well. And we probably want to leave one with mostly taken out health. Because the last one that's left will actually change its pattern trying to take us out in a raged form. So we need to be very careful. But if we can take it out, it drops us uh, another heart container. And now, we get the Pendant of Courage. I'm pretty sure. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to ha Sahasrala. Two pendants remain. And so our health is completely filled up, and so is our magic, which is pretty good. Ah, uh, but anyway now, let's go ahead and go back to Sahasrala. Sahasrala? I don't know how to say it. Pr pr no, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. It's... it's I mean, it's, what I'm saying is the same either way. But anyway, let's talk to you. Oh, you found the Pendant of Courage. Now I'll tell you more of the legend. Three of our four generations... Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant, Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against the evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men cr uh, created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Link, I believe you. You should get the remaining Pendants. Bl believe in you. Uh, and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. And this is an essential item. You get... He gives you the Pegasus shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Hold the A button for a short time. A helpful item is hidden in the cave east... On the east side of the lake of Hylia. Uh, get it. Okay. But now, if we go over to our items, we can actually see that on the on the right side shows us that we have the Pendant of Courage. But also on the bottom of the screen shows us that we have the Pegasus Boots, which allows us to run. So if we hold down the A button, we dash. We'll bounce off of walls if we dash into them. But we also hold out our sword when we dash, so we can actually do a little bit of damage to enemies as we're passing through. Which makes it a little bit safer to just run. But this is going to be very helpful for getting around faster. Oh, so helpful. Uh, now I think I'm actually going to go... ...this way, just to show that this is here. Because there's an area down here. And over this way is a cave. Which is a fairy fountain. We can get some more fairies here if we didn't have them already. Could be quite useful. You can also just walk into the fairies to get uh, healed, so... 
I can't remember how many, how many hearts they heal because they don't heal max hearts, I don't think. Which we don't have right now, but still. They do not heal you completely. But they're, they're, they're pretty good, so. Uh, anyway, let's go up north now. Also, if we run into a, a, a side-angled uh, wall, it'll actually push us to the, to the side, which is pretty good. We make it easier to get around. So can I take you out, please? 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 Thank you. This way, magic shop. Waterfall of wishing. Uh, now, I believe there's also a few other things around here. Possibly. If we fall into that, Am I crazy? Oh no, I... I think there's... Oh! Also, if we dash into trees, sometimes they'll drop stuff, like those... Um... Those apples, which will heal us a little bit. Sometimes apples will be green. To show... That they're less healing. Uh, but anyway... Let's go up here, through this cave. This is a fairy fountain, which has, you know, a fairy in it to heal us. And that's about it there, but I believe there's actually some some secret here that I don't remember how to do exactly. I really don't remember how to do it. That's fine. Uh, but anyway, let's go, please. Please. Anyway, let's just go around this way. Ow. Also, we have a shield on us, which can block the arrows a little bit. Not a lot, but it's still useful. There's not a lot of things that it can block, but still. Uh, let's head on up here. And go over this way. There's also this enemy here that we cannot hit with our sword, otherwise it will just stun us. And hurt us instead of it, so. Uh, but anyway. Hmm, the smell of rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. Hehe. <laughs> well, let me get that out. Also, if we go to our map, we can also see the where the Master Sword is in the forest, and also the, uh, the remaining two pennants that we need to go to get. So we'll have to do that, but let me just use Y on you to give you the mushroom. Hehe, <laughs> thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. Hehe. <laughs> okay. Well, I can do that. I believe I actually can do a few other things. Red is the medicine of life. Green is the medicine of magic. Blue renews both life and magic. Here, taste a sample of the red potion. Oh, thank you. Uh, but yes, the red potion we've already seen a little bit, which is good for getting health whenever we need it. Uh, the green potion gives us magic into our magic meter again if we need that. The blue potion is a bit of both. And it's actually really, it's, it's really good, but... I kind of don't want to switch it out for a fairy right now, although I could. I mean, I haven't used a fairy yet, so I might as well just use that. Also, if you pull it out and then put it back into a bottle, you can do that as well. Hey, hey thank you. This is a medicine of life and magic. You can recover both. The blue potion is really good, so I just want to have that on hand just in case I need it. Uh, but anyway, now, let me go out again and back in, maybe. I don't remember how to do this to get it to spawn in right away. It might just it might just take a little bit of time to happen. Uh, yeah, it looks like it will. Welcome to the magic shop. The waterfall of wishing is just ahead. So we'll come back to that for the reward for mushroom. Oh, I f thought that I could do other things now, but it's fine. I thought... I, uh, it's fine. Hang on. Okay, so I moved the screen away. If we go back into the shop now... Okay, there it is. We get magic powder. Try to sprinkle it on enemies and many other things. So that's what we get for trading in our mushroom. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Making mushroom brew I am. Cool, so we have magic powder now. Which is an item that we can use. It uses a little bit of magic to sprinkle it. But if we use this on anti-fairies, it turns them into fairies. Which is why I was pointing out how many there were in the Eastern Palace. Also, if we use it on this enemy, we can actually talk to it. Tra-la-la, look for Hasrala. But we still can't take it out normally. With our sword, so. But anyway. Uh, I was hoping to go further that way, but we can't do that quite yet. 
unfortunately. Also, it doesn't work on every enemy, but it, it, it's still pretty good. Now, let me go up this way, because I believe there's something we can do of this way, possibly. Oh, actually, maybe not. Actually, maybe not. Oh, we can't. It's fine. <laughs> there's a lot of things that I'm thinking of that we still can't do yet. Let's go to the desert to try and get to the next dungeon. Whoops, didn't mean to fall off that. That's fine. Oh, hello. Just gonna dodge past all of you. There's a long way to travel here. Also, I believe... There's a little path over here. Uh, Hyrule Castle this way. Yeah, this actually just connects to Hyrule Castle, but there's this big rock in the way which we can't do anything about. So let's head on down this way. Oh, hello. Hello. Get out. No. Stop. We're good. It's fine. Let's just go all the way over this way. And head, start heading south now. Although I think there's also a secret house building over here that we can blow up. So let's do that. Secret cave. Oh, and it's a fairy fountain. Okay. Well, anyway. that That's fine. Uh, but anyway, that, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.